You know, one of the surprising features of this film, and maybe it was something that set the movie apart from the mainstream of westerns of the 1960s, even given films like uh, Magnificent Seven and so on, is the comedy noir that's in it. It's, it's, it's very funny, but funny in a, a very dark manner. One critic actually remarked about the good, the bad and the ugly, said it could be summed up as Zane Grey meets the Marquis de Sade. Oh, well, I suppose that's one way of looking at it. Interesting point, you may have noticed that Eli Wallach's quite prominent in the film. In fact, Clint Eastwood and Sergio Leone, who got on pretty well, considering, I mean, after he's making Clint Eastwood a big international star, that they both realised that it was almost Eli Wallach's picture and came up with all sorts of ideas, both of them, to make the Eli Wallach character Tuco really significant. So as years went by, I found I was remembering the Eli, Eli Wallach character most of all with this film. Anyway, a point I wanted to make during our intermission segment about something I said earlier. This film is tough, it's hard, it's sinewy, it's comedy noir, it's chaotic, just as the country must have been during the American Civil War. And it also has at least one moment of surprising compassion. So watch particularly for a wonderful scene in which the Clint Eastwood character comes upon a soldier who's dying. It's a beautiful scene, beautifully thought out, and Clint is perfect in it. And then, of course, that wonderful finale in this bizarre arena. Yes, bizarre, even though it looks quite a bland, placid place. It's a remarkable movie, The Good, The Bad and The Ugly. I hope you're enjoying it. We shall return to the film in just a moment.